how's it going? I'm Lily Singh with Vanity Fair and I'm excited to teach you some Canadian slang. I'm always jumping at every opportunity to tell people I'm Canadian. I'm specifically from Toronto. Emphasis on the way I'm saying Toronto. You know someone is from Toronto if the T is silent. If someone says Toronto, imposter! <laughs> so this is basically holy. This is just an exa exaggeration when something's cool or when you're annoyed. It's like kind of like, oh my God, but Canadians really like to say, not holy, but holy, usually followed by man. That's holy, man. I know this because my mom says this a lot to me every day because she's usually annoyed at me. Okay, waste. See, you can't even say waste. It's not waste, it's waste. And this basically refers to a situation or person that is being useless or not ideal. For example, if there's someone that was late to a party, you're like, yo, you're waste. Wow, interestingly enough, you could also say man at the end of this. Waste man, so waste man's. Drake lyrics are making a lot of sense to you right now, aren't they? <laughs> Ute, ah, yes, commonly paired with waste as well. Ute basically means youth. So you could call someone a waste youth if they're also being a little wax. Stop being a waste you. I probably say this five times a week. So it's a strong one. The culture is strong with this one. Ting, ah, uh, ma, ah, uh, ah, uh, love. So I can't even say the word thing, to be honest. If I have to say thing, it feels so unnatural. I always say ting. And every time I do, people always respond being like, who are you trying to be? I need to just emphasize, this is how Toronto people speak. Ting basically means like, it could be like your boyfriend, your girlfriend, someone you're talking to. I'll give you an example. When Drake posted a picture with me, he said, uh, a Toronto sweeter ting. Reach. This one has caused me a lot of confusion living in LA because I always use this and people have no idea what I'm saying. So if I'm inviting someone over to my house, I'll say, hey, about to watch Game of Thrones, reach. And they'll be like, reach for what? Reach means just come, like come to me, come over, come to the location that I am in is reach. The six, I mean, come on. The six has become famous by Drake, obviously. He's uh, the national bird of Canada. And he calls Toronto the six. Also popular names for Toronto are T dot, the dot. I have a song called Ivy, Ivy, I, so I'm gonna throw it out in the mix as well. Toronto has a lot of great names, but the six is probably one that has become really popular the last little bit because of Drake. This is a six. Scoop me. It's not ice cream. I wish it was. Scoop me means come pick me up. So, hey, I don't have a ride. Can you come scoop me? I lie. Okay, cool. So this is kind of my, uh, someone's way of saying, am I right? Link up. Link up means meet up. So, yo, let's link up at the party at eight. You know, when I was in high school, I was saying, yo, link up down the block so my, my parents don't see you're picking me up from the driveway. Let's link up as far away as possible from my house <laughs> would be how I used link up. True. Okay, I cannot tell you how many times a day I say this word just as it's spelled just like this. I don't know what it is about Canadians and Toronto people. We need to validate the truth all the time. So it could be a replacement for okay, or like, I got it, or I understand. But if someone says, should we eat? True. Is this burger good? True. <laughs> this song is so good? True. True. This person's an idiot? True. True. I don't know. And we don't like the E, apparently. Mandem, hey, so mandem is just a way of saying like, those guys are friends, like, so me and the mandems are gonna come and meet you. We'll link up at eight, me and the mandem. Uh, it's a lot of influence from like Jamaican Pato, I'd like to say. Toronto is such a melting pot of culture. So in, in high school, when I was growing up, not only was there Jamaican influence, but there was like Sri Lankan influence and Indian influence. And so it's kind of like everybody understands everyone else's slang and language. Don't know, you don't know. How do we explain done no? <laughs> you done no, like you, you better believe it. You got that right, that type of thing. So are you gonna come to my birthday party? You done no. Live. I think it's a good, it's a, it's a positive word, you know, like how was the party? The party was live, it was, it was live. From time, ugh. So Drake famously says, uh, Scarborough, this is combining all of our words actually, Scarborough ting since time, G. Since time, from time, same type of thing. It means from a long time ago, from day one. Like, have you been friends? We've been friends from time. It means like a really good friend you've known for a long time. I could be a professor. Oh my God, this is, forget late night. 
arms. Do you not say this in America? Really? Arms means like really tight. Would you say tight in America? Uh, it means if someone does something to you that's like a little cheap, and if they kind of screw you over, like yo, your arms, often combined with bare arms, like your bare arms. Like if someone won't give you two dollars, yo, your bare arms. That's how you would say that. Don't cheese me, eh? <laughs> this means like don't annoy me, don't piss me off, don't play with me. So if someone's like pulling your leg a little bit, like don't cheese me, eh? Like don't don't annoy me. Sus, like suspect someone who's like a little questionable. Like yo, you're sus. I don't quite trust your situation. Sweeter man. <laughs> sweeter man's would be Drake. Drake is a sweeter man's. Boys who are like you know gentlemen and they. They're not, I don't know, it's how girls would be like, oh, he's a sweeter man's. Bout it, you're about it, like, you're with it. Like, um, this video, I'm about it. I like this video, I like you. Comment below, thumbs up, subscribe, do all the things. Eee! Come on, Timmy's, Tim's is Tim Hortons and it is the main food group in Canada. Um, that's what that is, ice cap, ice cappuccino. Timbits, not donut holes. Timbits is what it is. A. I know a lot of Canadians like to say they don't say this because I think over time we've been made to feel bad and guilty about this. But no, I proudly say A. I still say it. I've lived in LA for four years. I end a lot of my sentences like this. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just Canadian, eh? Thanks for watching, eh? Oh, Canada!